Hi guys, so it is Sunday and I have some time to film, so I figured I would get ready today. Uh, I haven't been able to film this whole week because my daughter, she had the full week off, which is awesome. We spent some great quality time together, so that was fun, but I was busy, so I couldn't film. Uh, and yeah, I figured I would do a very like spring-inspired look since the weather is just beautiful outside and I also wanted to share some of the Wonder Beauty products that I have uh, they are now at Sephora which is awesome I think they launched about a month ago or so but yeah great products I have their foundation an eyeshadow and a highlighter from them as well as their beauty blender their wonder I forgot what it's called, your Wonder Sponge or something like that. But uh, I will leave, of course, everything linked down below so you will know everything that I'm putting on my face. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do, so we're just gonna wing it today. Um, so I go, let's let's begin. Uh, I'm gonna pull back my hair because it is so hot, guys. It's crazy hot. I did get two inches cut off. And I feel like I probably need to get more cut off because it's just, I can't deal with long hair, I just can't. And I also got um, my hair color touched up. Um, I'm thinking about like later in the future, like adding purple to my hair. But, I don't know, I really like the blue, the blue and the green. So anyways, uh, we're going to start off with a face mist. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Maroon Boosting Mist. I've been using this like crazy, guys like religiously it smells so good it wakes me up I just love it just pat it into my face it smells like citrus and it is heavily scented so you know if you're not into heavily scented things then I would say pass on this but it is so good <laughs> Okay, and it just also like wakes up my sinuses because I always wake up in the morning with a stuffy nose. I have really bad allergies, so I just love using this for that as well. It just wakes up everything, and I don't know, I just feel lifted and better and healthier. It's, that's crazy, but it does do wonders. Okay, so um, then I'm going to use this. This is a serum. Uh, I got this in one of my Mimi boxes, so whether it's cruelty free or not, I'm not sure, but this is from Goodall, and this is the Phytorian Muramura Seed Hydro Serum, and actually I love using this as, uh, as a primer. It has like this jelly -like consistency to it, and it's quite thin, so it's perfect for the hot weather. It doesn't make your makeup like run. There's some like hydrating primers that they really just make your foundation just slip throughout the day, especially with hot weather. This does not do that because it has that like gel like formula. My lips are so chapped, guys. Just ignore that. Oh man. And it smells so good. Okay, so there is that. That's like my moisturizer and my primer in one. Uh, yeah, it's so good. So it's for normal to dry skin. So then we are going to go on to the foundation. Uh, I typically would put a concealer on first and then apply my foundation, but since this is in stick form, I'm going to use this first because it works better that way. You don't want to layer too much products with a stick foundation because it is a little bit more of a thicker consistency so we are going to do that so mine is in the shade medium and this is the flash focus hydrating foundation stick from wonder beauty packaging is gorgeous i love it so much so this is what it looks like it is a perfect match for my skin tone let me just swatch it for you and it is super creamy super emollient but it blends wonderfully they do say that you can use the sponge either dry or wet but i definitely prefer it wet it's just something i'm used to with all of my like beauty sponges i just prefer them damp so this is damp and when it's damp it's huge guys like this one right here this is the real techniques one and this is damp as well and i don't know if you can see the difference this is so much more bigger i mean it's not like a huge difference but this one is definitely bigger and I just love how it feels too like it's not overly dense but it's not overly squishy at the same time it's like that perfect medium 
it's just amazing it blends my foundation so good and I've used this also with like my serum -y foundations and it also works wonderfully so they also say that you can use this foundation as a concealer as well you would just build up the foundation in the places that you need that extra coverage I personally don't do that though because I like using a different concealer because I like using a concealer that's a little bit lighter for brightening purposes as well as coverage at the same time so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna use this as my foundation and I literally just draw it onto my face. I personally like Wander Beauty because it is ease of use. And their products are great for travel, great for mommies who don't have a lot of time to apply makeup because everything is so easy to use and you can use it for so many different things. And you will see how easy this blends in. And it really is a good coverage. I'm not using any color correcting products today so you can see that it does diminish any redness all on its own. And I've used foundation sticks before, but they tend to be very drying on my skin. This is the first foundation stick that isn't drying. It doesn't dry cakey on my face. Do you see how easy that was to blend? It's so good, guys. And you can get this now at Sephora. Now I have heard that the Wonder Sponge or the Wonder Cushion, I think that's what it's called, uh, isn't available at Sephora, which is such a shame, but I did purchase this on the Wonder website because uh, I don't have a QVC account actually, so um, I don't purchase anything through QVC, even though I do like QVC. I just don't. So, I'm also going to apply some to my lids as well. And let me tell you, some days when I just do not have the time, but I want to look a little bit put together, I want my skin to look at least presentable and nice. Uh, especially if I'm you know, taking my child to school, things like that. I just put this on and that's it. And I'm out the door. And I truly feel confident with this foundation. It just looks so good. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the areas that I have like freckles. Just so you can see that this is buildable. I don't always like covering up my freckles. I really like my freckles, personally. And I'm just pouncing this onto my skin. I'm not blending it like I was before, just to get a little bit of the floor coverage. Hopefully you can see the difference. So there it is. Love this foundation. I hope it translates really well on camera because this stuff is just golden. So I am going to use a concealer. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. All the typical places that I would conceal. I like this particular concealer with this foundation because it's very, um, it's very liquidy. Like it's not a thick concealer, so it doesn't like gunk up on my face. It doesn't get cakey.
So to save some time, I just bronzed my face with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. You have seen this before in my videos. I love this. It's just a very nice glowy bronzer. It has sort of like a oily sort of consistency to it. So it is quite glowy on the skin. And I did use the Perfecting Face uh, brush with it from Bare Minerals. And it has this little divot. And you just put a little bit of product inside of the divot. Pick this up, put it in like so. I'm not a big fan of this brush, but um, I mean it works. You really do have to buff in the bronzer or else it will look a bit patchy. So um, that's what I did. Just bring it down my neck. And just buff a little bit more of that product in. I pretty much just put the bronzer all over my face, like for an all over glow. So it just looks like I've been in the sun all day. Which I haven't. So I think I'm going to lighten underneath my eyes a little bit with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. So this is a little bit of a lighter concealer. And I'm just going to place a little bit underneath my eye. Just for a nice, brightened, wide-eyed effect. Since I did put the bronzer on my face, I don't want my face to be too muddy looking. So that's why I'm just brightening underneath my eyes. Just so it can all be cohesive. And then just setting it again. There's a method to my madness. <laughs> I do a bit of contouring with this Sonia Kasha Contour Stick. On my chin area right here and if I have any remaining product I'll put it around my nose area I'm gonna use my sculpting brush from Real Techniques to buff this out so for cheeks, I'm going to take a cream product. I love using cream blush during the warm weather. So this is from Mimi. This is the I'm Mimi Multi Stick. And you can use this on your lips or on your cheeks. But I'm going to use it on my cheeks. And it is a beautiful like coral rose. And I'm going to use the Zoeva brush, the 122 Petite Stippling Brush, with this product. Because this is quite pigmented. So a little bit does go a long way with this. And I'm just going to pop this into the elbows of my cheeks. And blend that out. So there you go. You definitely have to buff out this blush rather well or else it will be quite stark. I don't have my full face of makeup on, so this blush is quite profound right now. But once I have my eye makeup on, everything will look you know, much more complete. So I'm going to use my highlighter right now. And let's see, where is my highlighter? I just had it. So this is the highlighter that I'm going to use, also from Wander Beauty. And this is the Catch the Light Highlighter in Ivory. And this color is quite light. It is almost a white shade, but it's not so stark. It is a cream highlighter. So these do blend rather nicely. But that's what it looks like. It's not super stark. So if you like a very intense highlight, you probably wouldn't like this, but this is a very good highlight for layering, which I tend to do a lot. So uh, I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. Down on the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, forehead, and a little bit right here, and then blend that nicely.
I like blending it with a damp beauty blender as well because it tends to really set in the skin. Rather than it being on top of my skin, it really just blends into my skin so it looks more natural. Still quite noticeable, but I'm going to use something else for the tops of my cheeks. I want a little bit more of a golden highlight. So I'm going to take this Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. I've actually been using this as a highlight because it is gorgeous as a highlighter. I hate the packaging. It's so clunky and it's quite hard to open, but that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like swatched. It's just so, so, so pretty. So if you're looking for a good like highlighter from a drugstore, this one is perfect. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice golden highlight. So I'm going to take this fan brush. I purchased this from Ulta. This is the Gemini fan brush. Look at that, guys. Do you see that? It is so stunning. And then once again, we're taking the damp beauty blender and we're just pressing this onto my skin because it is, you know, it's quite stark since it is quite a bronzy shade. So we're just going to lighten it up. And there you go. And it's so pretty. Adding a little bit onto my nose, not too much. And that is it. Super, super glowy bronze goddess over here. So now that my face is super glowy, super bronzy, I was totally going for that bronze goddess JLo kind of look. So it is now achieved. So we are going to go on to the eyes and I'm going to use this palette right here. This is one of the customizable palettes from Buxom. Um, so these are colors that I chose for my palette. And uh, I've been using this palette a lot because it's very neutral and it's just very easy. I've been doing very like bold lips and a very neutral eye. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today. So very neutral eyes today. I will have all the names listed down below. But I'm going to take this peachy shade and this shiny brush. This is the slanted eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to apply this color on my entire lid. This is probably going to be a very long get ready with me because they're always super long and they take ages to like edit down. So that's going to be fun editing this video, but I'm just creating a nice space for my other eyeshadows and then on to my transition crease color. So I'm going to take the second color right here, this mid-tone brown, and just pop this into my crease. You do not have to be perfect. I tend to really like blown out, messy looks, especially with my big eyes. I don't really like anything too precise. It just looks weird with my huge eyes. I'm going to take this eyeshadow here. I totally forgot. I'm going to take this Wonder Beauty, what are you called? Wonder Beauty Exquisite Eye Liquid Shadow in Champagne. I'm kind of going to use this as a base. It's really pretty on its own, but since I'm working with the Buxom Shadows, I'm just going to use this as a base. But it is super pigmented, guys. Definitely put too much there. Wonder Beauty has several different colors of these. I got the lightest shade just because I wanted something that was eye brightening for my lids and just something super quick and easy and I didn't want anything too dark that needed a little bit more um, time with. And these set rather quickly, so super easy. So I'm just going to go back in with this palette and I'm going to take this color right here. I believe this is Champagne Buzz. It's just a really pretty champagne color, of course. And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. So on top of that Wonder Beauty Cream Shadow. This 
super eye brightening. And then I'm going to take this color right here. I believe this is Mink Magnet. It's kind of like a taupey shade, but it has a little bit of purple. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm bringing a little bit of this color onto my crease as well. This look is super easy, super effortless, super glowy. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the champagne color to my inner corners. Yes. Much better. Take this little pointy brush. This is from Kat Von D. It's the shade and light brush, the eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna take the shade side, and I'm gonna go in with this mint shade, and I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line, just to add a little something, something. Only halfway though. This is a super glowy, frosty, dewy, chrome kind of look. I'm going to take the purple one, which is this one right here, which is also super, super dewy curly. Like so. It'll probably look really crazy right now. It will all come together, I promise. I'm going to try out white liner. I'm not a huge fan of white liner, to be honest, but we're going to see how this works out. I got this actually at the Dollar Tree. It came in like a two-pack, and this is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Color Icon Pencil in white, and I'm just going to put this on my waterline. So that is what it looks like with the white liner. I don't know yet. I don't have mascara on or my lashes just yet, so... For now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Do something a little different, a little Coachella. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Trim with Lace. This is also white. So I'm going to apply this. I have a huge mirror, so I think I can't actually do this on camera. I'm going to try, but I may need my mirror a little closer to me. But uh, we'll see. Okay, that's how it looks so far. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm just going to do this off camera. Look. And it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I do like the white blinked eyeliner. I think it definitely adds a little pop of color to my neutral eye. And uh, I do like the little pop of color on the lower lash line. And it's just, it's the whole look is just super glowy, which I do like. For the last step, lips. So this is a ColourPop Lippy Sticks and this one is in the shade I Heart This and this is a matte shade and for some reason I don't ever reach for this so I'm doing a bold lip. This is perfect. This is kind of like a cool toned kind of pink. My lips are chapped so sorry. So this is the completed look guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. This is something totally different, something totally out of my comfort zone but I love it. I love the bold lip. I don't know why I never reached for this lip color. I've swatched it. I've played around with it, but I have never worn it on my lips, and it is absolutely gorgeous, and in combination with this eye look, I love it. Love the bold white winged eyeliner. Totally in trend right now. Loving the glowing skin. I'm all about the glow. So I hope that you guys loved this spring inspired look and i hope that you guys have a lovely lovely day and a lovely week see you in the next one Bye. I've been slipping back, heading south, car sick on a Tuesday, missing cash, blacking out, heartless in a few ways. 